Hi, this is Vortex. Today is an important day for us Paragon players. Because today, we finally got our first official look at the new map, which we now know is called Monolith. So, let's start by taking a look at the map's layout. The first thing you may notice is that the mid lane is much more curved in this map, which helps break line of sight easier than before. Also, when taking a look at the left and right lanes, you may see a very important difference. The Tier 1 tower of each team on their left lane is closer to their core compared to the Tier 1 tower on their right lane. Now, this isn't something new to the MOBA scene. Games such as Dota or League of Legends have this asymmetry in their maps because it creates strategic depth. For example, the left lane is much easier to defend compared to the right lane. Something else you might notice when talking about lanes is that there is nothing separating the inhibitors one from the other, which is a strange choice in my opinion because it makes the inhibitors easier to destroy, but we'll have to wait and see. Now let's talk about the jump. First things first, there is now a river going through the middle of the map, making a clear distinction between your jungle and the enemy jungle. Now let me bring up J. Leo's drawing of the map. J. Leo is one of the community members who already got to play on Mono. Judging from his drawing, it would seem that Orb Prime Guardian is located either here or here. Now, when J. Leo and other community members first played the new map, the Orb Prime Chamber had only one exit. Therefore, when a team was attacking the Prime Guardian, the other team could come in and just wreck their enemies. The first team has no way out as the second one can easily block the exit. Therefore, we now have two ways into the chamber, one facing each core, but this is a major problem as it means that one team has easier access to the Prime Guard. I personally believe that both exits should face the core furthest away from the Guardian. Now, let's do a little bit of size comparison. Monolith is 30% smaller than the current map. Now, this image might raise a few questions. Why is the name Agora nowhere to be found, and in its place, the word Legacy? Well, that's because Agora will be renamed Legacy, presumably whenever Monolith becomes playable to the community at large. In the near future, there will be six other articles relating to Monolith. The safe lane, the mid lane, the off lane, welcome to the jungle, systems overhaul, and finally art and visual design. I personally think these articles will come once a week. Therefore, we will be able to play Monolith in at the very least six weeks. That's more or less all the news we got about Monolith today. For more information on the new map, I put the links in the description below to an article on Paragon's website, YouTube videos from awesome community members which got to play Monolith, and also J. Leo's map. This was Vortex, signing off.